Hi Milton, this is Amanda from Digital Velocity and SEO, and you had asked me to do a website audit for your business underground excavating solutions. And so I'm pretty sure this is your site. I had sent you a Facebook message to check because I didn't ever get the site address from you. Um, but this one says Roy Washington, and so I, I just assumed it was you, so I'm shooting it for this um, website. So uh, basically, first you want to have a, what's called a Google My Business account. Um, set up here. I'll show you what it looks like. Um, so <clears throat> right here, this is the Google My Business for your competition. Um, the one in, in first place is Elk Plain, but they don't have a website, so I went with Milton Construction. And so this is called the Google My Business right here. And this is what moves you up in the map pack, um, which I'll show you back here. If you search anything, um, Google brings up the first three businesses. Uh, and this is called the map pack. So to drive you up in the map pack, you want to have um, that Google My Business um, opened up. And then you want to have like 500 words of optimized text in there, um, reviews from your customers, uh, pictures <clears throat> of what you do, etc. cetera. Um, that is what's going to help you getting um, driven up in these results here, as well as citations, which I'll explain here in a minute. But that was first first thing. Um, and then looking at your website, <clears throat> to be optimized for Google, you really want to have 1,500 words of, um, of content on your homepage uh, and targeting keywords as well. So what I mean by that, um, so I went and counted your, your, your words and you have 63 words basically on your homepage right now. And your competition has a really low word count too. They only have 224, so it wouldn't be hard to blow them away by putting in a good amount of content. Um, and then you can target keywords in your content too, which is what's going to make you ding when people search for certain things on Google. So if somebody's looking for underground excavating or anything that has to do with your business, you want to rank for those words so that when they type that in the location that you're popping up as a search result for them. Um, so going back to your website here, um, well, this is your competition. So I use this um, online paid tool called Arifs. <clears throat> and basically this tells me a ton of information about your website. So right now you don't have any UR or DR scores, which you'll see on here. They're very low as well. Um, but this is basically your, your power that's being driven to the website by backlinks and referring domains. And this is your trust that Google has in you. So I'm not sure whether you're a new site or whether just because you don't have really much going on on here that they don't have you um, ranked at all. But <clears throat> you do want to get uh, get these things built up right here, which is what I'm going to show you now, um, and that will drive up your UR and your DR scores. Um, so as far as backlinks, this is the power that's being driven to your website. So you see you had 24 and they have 30. That's not that much of a difference and that's it, relatively easy to catch up to them and, and surpass them. Um, and see, this is, this is where you're having your problems. So, um, these scores, the DR score is basically over 100. So you're getting six out of 100, uh, as far as power goes from get from this site, because that's what, um, Google sees it as it's not relevant to your business. Even if it is, it just, that's how Google sees it. So you want to have high DR score, um, backlinks. So if we look at there, see theirs are in the 50s. So those are still not very good, and they don't have very many either. So this would definitely be something that you could surpass them um, with not too, I mean, it wouldn't take too long to do that either. Um, so going back and looking at referring domains, this is basically uh, along the same lines as the backlinks. Um, this, these are other websites that have a link um, to your website. And it and the power that's being driven depends on the power of the site that is driving the traffic to your site. So these these are the ones where your competition um, is having stuff driven, which they're not very high at all. And then these are yours, um, but yours are all very low or or NA. So we need to get you some higher ranking, more powerful links to put in here. Um, <clears throat> Next, I will look at keywords, and this is really huge um, for location-specific stuff. So when somebody is searching for, um, 
you know, ex underground, underground excavating Roy Washington. So all of your um, keywords, what is going on here? Um, all your keywords, you really want to have them to be location specific um, so that when somebody types in a, a search term and the area that you pop up. And so this is how you target those um, is by by putting these into the content on your home page or your service pages. Um, and that's how you um, score for the keywords. So as you can see, you only have one keyword here and it's not a location specific keyword and it's not driving any traffic to your website. So here's theirs. Um, and they basically, let me see if we can go to, they have a lot of low ranking keywords as well. So, um, but they do score for their name. So that's one thing that you definitely want to be first in is um, scoring, you know, um, yeah, scoring for your name, basically. So Milton Construction, you see how they're scoring for that and they're in position two. That's good because when somebody searches for Milton Construction, they're going to come up in the second spot. I mean, you really want to come up in the first spot because you don't want anybody else showing up for your business. So that's why you want to make sure that you're saying the name of your business in your home, you know, your homepage content multiple times so that you can rank for that keyword. Um, and so see how some of them are, are location specific. That's uh, MCI to Seattle. You want to have location specific keywords and you can target different areas. So I know you're in Roy, so you could target Yelm, you could target Rainier, you could target Spanaway, you could target Graham, um, Eatonville, you know, so you want to use those keywords along with what you do and target them to be able to come up in the search results for those. So that's it for Arifs. And then with the citations, so basically citation is your business name, your phone number, and your location. And um, it, it's directories that you show up in. So you're on BBB, Vista Print, or Vista Print Digital, and Facebook is where you um, have your information registered. And your competition actually has less than you do. Um, so this is another area where you could really blow them out of the water just by putting, like, throwing 10 or 20 links on this. Um, and, you know, it'd be a little bit before they could catch up by doing that, too. So really, you, you, there's not a ton to do. Um, you just have to know what to do. And uh, it can be a little time consuming, but um, you're not that far behind your competition, which is really, that's really cool. So, um Let's see. One thing I did want to say about your web page or your home page here um, is that <clears throat> Google, when they crawl pages and stuff, they like everything to be very uniform. And so, see how you're, you know, you're to the left here and you're centered here, left here, centered here. You want to make sure everything is centered. You need to have some. Um, really good pictures on here, like more high quality pictures. And you can save these pictures if you right click on each of them. You can save image as, and then go in there and save this image as a key, as a keyword. So I would go in there and say, like, you know, whatever it is that you're doing here, underground excavating, Roy Washington, save this picture as that so that you can, you know, count for another keyword. But basically, um, I would build out different pages. So see, you have you basically have a landing page here. But I would take like your top, um, your top grossing, um, jo you know, things that you do, and I would make service pages out of them. Um, and then you would have more content on those pages, and you'd be able to to target more keywords and and the like. So. Anyways, um, I hope that this helps you, and if you decide that you don't want to do all this and you want to outsource the work, um, feel free to go ahead and I'll leave my Calendly link in the email that I send you, and you can schedule an appointment through there with me if you'd like to sit down and talk about your business and your goals and how I can help you reach them. Uh, thanks for your time. Have a good night.